Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Ugh. Does every mechanic have to be gross? Alright, carry the three to five by twelve. Oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man! Welcome to Skitter's Catch a Ride! What can we do for you today? Uh... Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully handing this place over to the new proprietor today and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is surprisingly difficult. Haven't seen this much paperwork since my aunt cousin tried to marry my brother, uncle, and she sued him at a new proprietor? Yeah, man, I got too many locations now. I can't work all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to hand this old girl off to Janie Springs, you know her? She used to fix buggies and crap on the moon, so I figured it'd be like riding a bike for her. Figuratively speaking, I don't really do bikes, <laughs> you know? Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere! You were in the latest Bossin' Over Death Rally! Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was I was waving! You were a badass! You watch the latest Bossin' Over Arena Death Race thing? Winner. Badass. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man! I can fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold 2,500? Uh... That's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cause my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cash kept them fed for weeks. Of course, those days they were mostly, you know, the, the money, but, but still, it was weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great. Maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. Tell you what. Throw in an extra thousand bucks and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride! You know it. Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Catch a ride! Hmm... Okay, okay, thousand bucks. It's yours, but you're gonna have to win, like, a crap load of races, all right? I ain't made of money, man. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with, like, Catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi! Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was, uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork, let me take care of that. Okay, bye. Alright, man, here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions or whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it for free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. And don't tell me you're broke because I know you got that extra thousand I just gave you. I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones, too. Sometimes I just stand here and, and stare at them, you know? I know how it is. 
That one would look badass as hell, man. Take it from me, the badass from hell. Man, to be you right now, facing all them possibilities, right for the take. Can you taste the potential? It's, uh, it's kind of like cinnamon. Or that's just me licking spark. That is some fine taste, man. Like a treat for yourself and for me getting to do it. Can't wait. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas, what can I do you for? Anna. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Oh, we're blown. We are totally screwed. Oh, that's great positive thinking, Fiona. Out of teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Thanks. Hey man, it was no big deal. Proper man ain't gotta turn in two nice seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> but seriously, please don't try to murder me. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? I don't think Felix is as too far away. If we're careful, we can make it on foot. Then, let's do it. We shouldn't hang around here too long. Looks like he had company while he was away. Hopefully they didn't find the stash. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. He always complained about the reception on this thing. Right. A phonograph is more to his taste. If it's all the same to you, I could do without Felix's classical music right now. I had to force this on him once his eyesight was starting to go. Yeah, stubborn as always. I couldn't even get him to stop using floppy disks. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax, anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. What's that? A grenade? Yeah. Looks like another one of Felix's homemade projects. Well, let's take it. You were always a better shot than me. Man, it used to drive me crazy. That was a long time ago.
It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. Felix sure was into science fiction. Hmm, here we go. Always nice to see an old friend. Doesn't look like he changed anything. Probably means there's nothing in there. Great, a flashlight. Maybe if we go camping. It's a black light. It's the one Felix used to check our first counterfeit bills. Oh. It looked familiar. It's hard to believe that asshole would be sentimental enough to keep this in his safe. Not unless he meant for us to find it. Sasha, look at this. What the hell? It's ultraviolet paint. I guess he wanted to keep all this a secret. Well, he left this for us to find, so... There's something he wanted us to see. There we go. He left something for us to find. Just like him to make a children's game out of something like this. He never could see us as adults. Well, maybe that was the problem. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Ah! I see it! Right there! Awesome! Is this the right spot? Yep, just gotta pry it open. Uh, if you find another flashlight under there, I'm leaving. Guess that's what we're searching for, huh? Guess so. Here we go. Better double check the contents. Oh, hello, sexy. You're coming with me. What is it? It's an echo call. Why is there? If you're seeing this, I suppose I'm either dead or worse. My plan worked. I'm sorry. Fiona, Sasha, there's so much I want to tell you, but the less you know, the better. Oh, give me a break. Halfway through the con, I realized we were messing with Valerie's people. I knew that, and I never revealed it to you two. Well, if you're watching this, it won't be long before she's coming after you. Change your names. Change your appearance. Change your life. Valerie? Take Do you know you that name? And go. <laughs> forget about the life you had, and forget about me, but know that I love you both. With all my heart. <sighs> I was watching that. Were you? Because if you were seeing what I was, you would have done that yourself. And what exactly were you seeing? A liar! 
I'm not gonna listen to another second of his bullshit. I can't believe you let him live. To be fair, I did shoot him. I wish I had that chance. I wish you hadn't shot him. Really? I wanted to take him out myself. It was always about the money. The second a big score showed up, he betrayed us. We had it. We had it in our hands, Fiona. Ten million dollars. Enough to get off this planet. Enough to... to buy a new life. First, we find this vault. Take all the riches it contains, then we'll get off this rock. I promise you, one of these days you'll be looking down on Pandora from space. I'm gonna hold you to that. You always do. You want a sandwich? It might be a while before we eat again. Sure. Huh. Wonder what's in this. What is it? It's some sort of an upgrade. Still only holds a single shot, but... It looks like it adds an elemental effect to the bullet. A parting gift. Good thing this comes with another shot. I used my last one on Felix. He left you something, too. I don't want it. Come on, don't be like that. Don't tell me how to feel. I'll just hold on to it for you. In case you change your mind. I won't. So stubborn. You really gonna turn down a dead man's final gift to him? Cold blooded. <laughs> right? You should be ashamed of yourself. Hands up, both of them. What you making? Sandwich. Hmm. Why you got a pan going for a sandwich? I like an egg on it. Alright. That's valid. Nice hair. What's that supposed to mean? It means your hair is nice. I will shoot you in the face right now if you're talking Whoa, shit. Finch, calm down, man. Don't talk about his hair, all right? All right, he's good. Heard me going up. You see me looking at you. Make him shoot through that nice floor. And for what? For nothing. You two got every bounty hunter in Pandora looking for you. And you're making a sandwich? Tire up. Let's get out of here. Ooh! She's fast. Please. You embarrassing yourself. Go on. Fiona, shoot him! Do it. You're pointing that at a dude who has people shoot him in the chest for fun. You all right, man? Oh, yeah. Re real good. <laughs> Look, you don't have to be a tough guy about it. It's cool. Hey, man. Oh, I'm counting this book.
bullets, and they come in. It's my story. Shut up. Is she still back there? I can't see her. Are you sure? She must... Ah, look out! Sasha! Oh, 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 oh. This ends now! You think some stupid Hyperion motorbot is gonna... That doesn't sound right. Loaderbots can't do Look, that. Look, were you there? No, you weren't. That's what happened. Go on. Was she bothering you? Yeah, you probably should have asked that before you threw her halfway across town. Oh, man. Did you see the look on her face? <laughs> Nice arm. Get this kid a scholarship. <laughs> Come with me if you want to leave. I told you Hyperion some bitches want back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I promise. That's our ride. Like, hell, man, I know the woman that dropped this van off, and you sure as crap ain't them. Well, okay, not our ride, but... Being a Hyperion was just strike one, man. Now you're lying to me in my garage? That's like four or five more strikes right there. Are you guys trying to steal our van again? Ha! I knew it! Oh, my God, can you please explain to this guy that we're friends? No way these girls are associated with no Hyperion D-bags. Friends is a little much. I'd call it what it is. Which is? A temporary alliance. Well, that really hits the heart. I appreciate that, Fiona. These are my temporary allies. Can I get in the damn van, please? Alright, well, if you say they're with you, I guess I can believe that, man. But if you ladies get into trouble, you just call, alright? Or, you know, you don't have to be in trouble to call, man. You just want to chit chat, or you find a restaurant you really like, or you know, wait, but, but the trouble thing, that too, that too. Scooter, you are awesome. This is incredible. You do amazing work. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Be sure to stop off at any of my catch a rides if you need anything. I got them popping up all over Pandora.
hope there are no more bandits. Bandits? Eh, they haven't lived here for years. The Crimson Lance massacred them. Some say their corpses still roam the streets seeking vengeance. Sasha. Not to be a downer, but I'm not seeing any Atlas facility. I'm mostly seeing dry trash. Would it be so hard for just once something to go according to plan? Enough of this standing around crap. Let's get moving. Wow, guys. I mean, wow. Just uh, stunning. Picturesque. Vaughn, are you seeing this? Someone get a picture of me with the pile of garbage. No, no, no. The other pile of garbage. Hey, easy there, Mr. Tiny Business Cards. Sorry. Sorry. Uh-huh. Let's just find this facility, okay? Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Pretty sure I can figure this out. to something. Hey guys, guys, come check this out. It's like the whole grid leads right to here. I mean, with all these power lines everywhere, they've, they've got to be connected to something, right? Couldn't have left me a ladder, could you? Typical Atlas. Hey, guys. Hey. That's a nice sock. No, really? I mean, because, you know, a, a good pair of socks is an often overlooked detail of a gentleman's wardrobe. I'll try and remember that. Yeah, so... You want your boot back? I would love my boot back, yes. Don't say I never gave you anything. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. So, what did happen back there with, um... You know, the... Why do you ask? No. Oh, sorry, it's, it's... It's none of my business. He got greedy. That's all there is to it. Well, any ideas about how to get in? Oh, I thought you Hyperians had an answer for everything. Cool. Thanks for the help. Don't mention it. I won't. Like, ever. I literally won't ever mention it. Ever. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna get back to it. We'll be here.
on to something. Grounds different between here and here. About all Dahl was good for, am I right? <laughs> <clears throat> Ew, gross. And another one. All right, that's two. the whole time and that must be our facility underground hidden doors <laughs> atlas man so what's next well clearly we go in whoa whoa easy watch where you point that thing this is incredible pristine preserved atlas architecture yeah and it's the real classy corporate stuff, not that military garbage you usually see. I'm with you, boys. This looks good. How about we find out if the inside's even better? No, 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 no. We're going in cool right now, okay? Remember? Remember we talked about cool? 
Looks like we're in the right place. Well, that's ominous. This is a massacre. Crimson Lance, these guys are serious badasses. Watch your step. Home place could be booby trapped. If this place is as valuable as we think it is, they might be trying to protect it. Booby traps? Are you serious? This isn't some ancient temple or something, it's just an Atlas facility. A top secret one, that we needed to find a hidden entrance for? Okay, that's a... valid point. This is Athena's handiwork. Starting to think we might have just gotten lucky with her back there. Mr. Ten Million Dollars. Recent Bond's new little playmates, right? It's very good to meet the two of you. Why? It's a shame we couldn't be meeting under different circumstances. Bond? Reese? You didn't think I'd have August handling all my dirty work, did you? How the hell do you keep showing up? We've escaped you, like, a gajillion times now. Reese. Reese. Reese, 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 Reese. Only the fool thinks that he escapes his shadow in dark. No. Uh, what? Loaderbot! Armed weapons or something! I'm helping! Uh -huh. Come on, guys. You didn't think I'd come all the way down here before grabbing a universal remote, did you? What? The Gordis Project, the two halves of the core, everything leading to a vault. We got it all. Checkmate, amigos. I am shame. <laughs> What'd you think, Reese? That you could pilfer something from my toy box, no strings attached? You never could follow through. That's your problem. And that's why I beat you every time. Come on, Vasquez. Isn't this all beneath you? Coming down to Pandora, working with these guys? Wow, Reese. You know, I... I never looked at it that way before. I don't take advice from janitors. Oh, you guys will not believe the dream I just had. Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what the hell is this? Didn't I just do this with this guy? Kiddo, I admire your consistency, but, uh, God. Oh, and who is this princess? Wait, they... <laughs> Son of a... Shock, other people. Oh, yes, I knew about that. Uh, don't touch the cords, August. Thanks for the heads up. <sighs> Jackass. They're gonna have to do it for us. You'll cooperate, right? Because I figure if you don't, well, I, I can think of all sorts of things to do to your little friends. Yeah, sounds like we don't exactly have a choice, now do we? That's the spirit. Two hallways, two halves. I'll, uh, take my soon-to-be-dead janitor here. You take Miss Fancy Hat down the other one. Boys, you keep an eye on these two. Especially this one. Don't believe a thing she says. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, you sit tight. 
your hands off me! Either of those two move, you shoot them where they stand. Reese, I'll admit it, you and uh, Vaughn have impressed me. And that sort of thing doesn't happen often. I'm surprised you've made it this far. I, I, Hugo Vasquez, Hugo Vasquez. There's, there's something I remember about this guy. What the hell really? is it? Really? It's unbelievable. You must have had some sort of help. Couple of death jockeys like you. I'd say it was 50-50 you'd survive the landing. Much less get as far as you have. Uh, anyway, like I said... Impressive. I mean, you might think of me as a self-made man, and for the most part you'd be right. But there was this time when I looked up and admired one man in particular. The most impressive person He's I've gonna ever say known. me. Handsome Jack. You idiots always say me. Still can't figure out who he is, though. We had the special report. He would do this thing where he would punch me in the face whenever he'd see me. It didn't matter if he was busy. He always made time for me. No, still nothing. I punched my mom, for Christ's sake. Just boom, right in the kisser. I was drinking from a mug when he got me one time. I hate to break it to you, Vasquez, but what you're describing is... You don't get is... it. You, you don't get it. You don't. The point is, I was his punching bag. Oh, man. He thought we were exclusive. That's adorable. I miss our time together. Ah, this drives me crazy. It's right there. It's on a tip of my But phone. through me... His legacy carries on. <coughs> How did you get paired up with an asshole like Vasquez? No, he's not so bad. He's just a little dumb. Valerie, the woman I work for. She's got a lot of contacts up on Hyperion, Vasquez being one of them. Problem is, we tried to cut her out of the deal. Hmm. Obviously, that was a bad idea for a lot of reasons. The fact that the vault key was bullshit being first and foremost. Well, Valerie found out about it, so now we've got to convince her that whatever comes out of this room is worth more than the $10 million deal we tried to slip under her nose. Then, hopefully, she doesn't kill us all. Did she ever talk about me? What? Sasha, did she ever talk about me? You guys are sisters. I figure you'd talk every now and again. She thinks you're dangerous. Yeah, well, I am. So that's fine. Maybe that's something she likes about me. It's not. You killed a guy right in front of us. Don't you remember? Oh, right. Yeah, that was rash. You think? But listen, that guy? He was a bad guy. He's ripping my family off for years. Just stacking... Lies on top of lies until he couldn't remember what the truth was. And he had plenty of outs. He chose not to use them. Look, I just want you to know, as far as you and I are concerned, there's no hard feelings. That is so generous of you. I'll think about that when you shoot me in the back. Come on, don't be like that. You're the one that hustled me, remember? And that, you see, is what I was trying to provide for you. Some guidance, some mentorship, a father figure. I was trying to help you. The janitor gig, it was to test your metal, your resolve. And I gotta say, you reacted with some balls, kid. Some big old balls. You see, Reese, I started at the bottom, and I worked my way up. I, uh, <laughs> I used to be in the mailroom. Whoa, wait a minute. Wallet head! That's where Jack found it. <laughs> he used to be bald and he was going through these hair implants and, and, and I did, it would stick money to his head. It was, <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, but it was a long time ago. A ask him about it. He'll tell you. Ask him about it. <laughs> go on. Go on, seriously. But that's ask a pretty him. big difference. Hey, hey c come on. I'm, I'm handing you comedy gold here. Are you, 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 you going to ignore this? Listen, uh, wallet head. Well, Wallet head? <laughs> yeah, so I appreciate the advice. I, I, I do. But I'd much rather you take your two cents and shove them into your wallet that you have on the back of your head that you are ashamed of because you are a wallet head. 
I... I was trying to be nice to you. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Oh, I'm gonna that's take your red. corpse Thank back you. up to Helios. I'm gonna make sure they save me some of your skin to make a wall out of. Whenever I see it, I'll remember the look on your face at this moment. Whoa. That's... legitimately creepy. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to getting back to Helios, Reese. No! Hey! Hey! I just... I just need some reassurances. That it was just about the money and nothing else. And relationships have to be built on trust. I don't know if I can take Sasha back without it. How do you even start a conversation like that? At this point, I assume she's just embarrassed. You two should just talk. Clear the air, see where it gets you. Yeah, we should do that. Well, here we are. Go on, stalling won't do you any good. Nice chat? <laughs> I can't imagine he's too happy with you guys. Uh, at least that's the vibe I was getting. We're working a few things out. That's good. That's good. It's important to clear the air with your captors. Gortis unit ready for assembly. We got it! We got it! I guess that's our cue. that that is a metal ball how's this gonna get us into a vault that's the only leverage we've got at this point meaning right you've got one bargaining chip to work with Grab the thing and let's go! No, 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 what are you- 
you doing? Warning. Gorgeous device compromised. Smooth one, idiot. It's fine, it's fine. See? Uh-oh. Didn't like that, Reese. Did not like that one day. No problem. Everything is okay. Subsystems, man. I can hack into these drones and I can uh, uh, almost guarantee no one dies. Unless you want them to. Probably. Uh, this, let me in. I... Vaughn! It's under control, so trust me. What? No, no. Listen, we can take over the whole facility, kid. We got this. Okay. Okay, what? Are you talking to me? Yes, yes, I'm talking to you. Do whatever it is you have to do. <laughs> How are you doing that? I'm not. Really. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby! Ha 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 ha! 